Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my Ipsy bag and isn't this super cute? I love Halloween, just personally. But first, as always, I will go over what I received last time. So I received the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and it is not a joke, it stings like a mofo. But it does plump your lips a little, at least temporarily. I'll wear this like under a lip product so that I don't get it too messed up. Like it's got a little bit of pink on it. It does smell really good though. So it has that going for it, but it does sting. It is, it ain't kidding. Next is the Othermal Avene Hydrants Optimal Ser Hydrating Serum. Just this little bitty tube right here. I guess it was hydrating. This is not a huge skin concern for me because I have oily skin. So it felt nice, but I didn't see like a huge difference. So I would not seek that out. Next is the Clark's Botanicals Age Defying Radiance Cream. This is super expensive. This a full size is this like over $100. And unfortunately, this is so heavy that it broke me out. So I will not be using this up. I will be passing this on to my sister when I see her next because she has really dry skin and I think she might benefit from it a little more than I do. But it did feel nice going on and everything. It's just too heavy for my skin. Next is something that I wound up really not liking. It is the Be A Bombshell Nail Polish in Holy Fuchsia. And the problem with this is that the scent on this is too potent for me. Like, yes, nail polishes stink. They will always stink unless they like those Revlon Parfumery nail polishes that they had. This is strong for a nail polish, so I didn't I didn't think it was anything special enough to de warrant dealing with the smell, so I will not be keeping that. So, yeah, this bag ha had some kind of failures in it, honestly. But finally, I have the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mineral Blush and Autumn Glow. This is the color right here. I like that it's a different color because I'm not overly fond of dealing with powder blushes. I find them really messy, but this is a nice color. So I'm holding on to it and I did use it a couple of times and it is nice on my skin. So at least for now, I will be holding on to it and playing with it some more. So out with the old, in with the new. Like there's even a little ghost on the zipper. Can you see that? I like that so much. It's definitely one of my favorite bags in a long time. Well, not even a long time because the August bag was really cute too. So the theme this month is black magic. First off is something I'm currently using. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not. It is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product, which I have mixed feelings on this product. It's not that it's not a good product and doesn't do everything that it says. I know a lot of people have told me that their hair is so frizzy and this is the only thing that works on it. My hair is frizzy, but not to the point where other stuff won't work on it. And this is hella expensive. This is like $22 for a full size bottle, which is like four ounces, I think, which is a lot of product. Like it takes me over a month to go through even like this little thing right here. I just think it's too expensive for what it is. And I do like the fact that it does like 8 million different things. So I don't know if I'll be holding on to that one or not. I got another eyeliner, yay. Thankfully, at least this time it's a liquid eyeliner. <laughs> this is the Essence Superfine Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. God, that's a long tip. It's not even as black as it could be. Oh, that's pretty black. I usually set my eyeliners with eyeshadow anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Not stinky or anything at least, so I will, I will certainly use that. Next is a lip product that I have in other colors, so I know I like it, but I was glad to get a color I didn't have. This is the Tristique Mini Matte Lip Crayon in Belize Bordeaux. By the way, if you get one of these, this is not the product itself. This is just packaging. And here is the color right here. That is very pretty and wonderful for fall. A little brighter than I thought it was gonna be. I ain't mad at it, it's just a little Slightly deceiving. I thought it was going to be a little bit deeper than that, but still very pretty. Two more things. First is something that I know is a good product, but I have it in a palette, so I don't know if I'm going to hold on to it. It is the 
the Balm's Hot Mama Blush. I'm not gonna swatch it because, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna hold on to it initially or not. It is a very pretty blush, and I do like it and recommend it. I hate when they send blushes in these teeny tiny packages because it's hard to get a blush brush in there. But, I mean, it's not a huge deal. I can just move the brush around. It's just kind of annoying. But I have this in a palette, so I'm not sure if I'm going to necessarily hold on to this. Like, I might keep it for travel or something, although I don't travel all that much. And I have the travel palette, so I don't know. And the last thing that I have that I still need to kind of break into... Okay, here's the edge. Is an eyeshadow duo from a brand that I have not heard of outside of Ipsy, because I got... A highlighter from them ages ago. I use it as an eyeshadow because it is super duper pink. It's a little light to be a blush or else I would just use it as a blush. But it's vintage by Jessica Labyskind. I don't know. You guys tell me. And it is a brighten and define eyeshadow palette in vanilla slash espresso. The full size of this is really expensive. Because so I look up to get prices. So... Oh wow, that's really smooth. Like that that white one especially is super smooth. They are pigmented, so I will fool with them and we shall see how it goes. That white though. Oh my god, I've never felt an eyeshadow that I thought it was a cream at first, like literally is that smooth. But it's not, it's a powder. That is insane. Okay, maybe that's why it's so expensive. <laughs> okay, anyways, that is it. I, I went through this stuff kind of fast this month, I feel like, but thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!